To understand how much of a public health challenge malaria is in Nigeria, you only need to look at the statistics. It accounts for more deaths in Nigeria than any other country in the world. As at 2011, Nigeria had an estimated 100 million cases of malaria, with over 300,000 deaths per year, more than from HIV and AIDS. The disease accounts for 11% of maternal mortality. For a very long time, chloroquine was the primary drug for the treatment of malaria in Nigeria. But following the WHO stoppage of the drug and the treatment of the disease, the country made a switch over to artemisinin. And thanks in part to the drug, experts say Nigeria is now gradually winning the war against malaria. Given that malaria kills um, hundreds of thousands of people a year, and uh, Nigeria, is, in fact, with just three other countries, contributes about 50% of the deaths from malaria in the world. And uh, malaria, I mean, Nigeria by itself contributes the single highest number of cases and deaths of any country in the world. So we indeed celebrate artemisinin and uh, its use, and we thank um, the discoverer for that, and we're happy that it's uh, been rewarded. Health authorities in Nigeria now recommend artemisinin-based combination therapy as the standard first-line treatment of malaria patients in the country, in line with WHO recommendations. What we do is, after the test has been um, done and we've diagnosed the patient has malaria, they are required to comment on ACT, which is the short form, the acronym for artemisinin combination treatment. It's highly effective in the treatment of malaria. It is preferred now and in fact, um, by, by policy in Nigeria, we use it instead of what we used to use in the past, which was chloroquine. The reason why it was introduced as first line drug uh, was because we were having problems treating malaria. Uh, there was resistance to a lot of the drugs we were used to, chloroquine um, uh, and um, the like. And then we needed new drugs, you know, and um, artemisinin came on board and found to be a very effective treatment by itself. That is used alone. It caused very quick cure rates and very effective cure as well. You know, so now um, it's quite an effective drug, even as a combination therapy. Nigeria is now witnessing a drop in the number of deaths from malaria as treatments become more effective despite the occasional threat of drug resistance in some cases. But pharmacist Benga Falabi says the Nobel Prize to Tu Yu Yu, a researcher in Chinese traditional medicine, is a wake-up call to experts in traditional medicine in Nigeria. It tells me that there is hope in uh, traditional medicine. It tells me that my colleagues should less embrace pharmacognosy, which is bringing drugs out of natural origin. I mean, artemisinin is from vegetable, is a plant. Locally in Nigeria, we have so many plants that have been proven scientifically you know, to work in all these type of infections and other lifestyle diseases, you know. So I think this award will probably reawaken um, our colleagues in the academia, you know, to go back again to the test tubes and let's see what we can do with our local um, plants also. Now, there are several brands of anti-malaria drugs out there in the market, like this one known as Artequake and then this one known as Lona. The key ingredients in all of these drugs is uh, artemisinin. That is the drug for which uh, 2 uu was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine. The fact is that her award will inspire enormous interest in pharmacology, especially here in Nigeria, where the drug has not just saved millions of lives, but is putting smiles on the faces of people. Teja Badmo, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.